Pete, John, and Lucy. They each have a pet. One is a dog, one is a cat, one is a bunny, and one is a fish. Next we are told that Anne and the girl with the dog are looking for some fresh air, so they go to the park. Next, Pete and the boy with the fish are craving some popcorn and some action, so they head to the movie theaters for the newest Transformers movie. Finally, they tell us Anne cannot have cats because she's allergic to cats. And then they ask us who owns the cat. They've given us a lot of information, but where do we start? Even with all this information, none of it tells us a single owner pet pairing. How are we supposed to figure out who owns the cat without any of this essential information? Let's analyze what is given once more. So, Anne and the girl with the dog went to a park. This line doesn't tell us who owns the dog, but it does tell us that Anne must not be the owner of the dog. So let's make a note of that. Not dog, owner. Next, let's go to the next line. Pete and the boy the fish went to see a movie. Once again, this line doesn't tell us who is the fish owner, but it does tell us that Pete must not be the fish owner. So let's make a note of that too. Okay, I think I see a pattern. It looks like what we need to do is we, we need to find a way to keep track of who is not the owner of specific pets. But how do we do that? Let's, so let's try making a table to organize all the given facts. First, let's list out the people. We have Anne, Pete, John, and Lucy. Now, since each of them owns one pet, we can go down and list out the pets. One is a cat, one is a dog, one has a bunny, and one is a fish. Now we can make a table out of this. So each square will represent whether or not they are an owner pet parent. So now let's start with the first given information. Anne and the girl with the dog went to a park. So what we concluded earlier is that Anne must not be the dog owner since she went with the dog owner to the park. So for Anne and dog, put an X. Let's look over the sentence once more. Anne and the girl with the dog went to a park. So it must be a girl who owns the dog, and the only other girl left would be Lucy. And since Lucy owns the dog, no one else can own the dog, and Lucy can't own any other pet. So just from this one line that didn't tell us anything about who the owner is, we got a lot of information now just by using what is given and representing it on the table. We found out one owner pet pairing and we crossed out a lot of possible owner pet pairings. So now let's go to the next line and see if we can do the same kind of planning. So Pete and the boy with the fish went to see a movie. So what we concluded earlier is that Pete must not be the fish owner. So right here, Pete is not the fish owner. Let's see if we can get anything else out of this sentence. So Pete and the boy with the fish, the boy with the fish went to see a movie. So Pete can't be the fish owner, but a boy must be the fish owner. And the only other boy left is John. So John must be the fish owner. Which means no one else can be a fish owner, and John can't own any other pets. So we're almost done. We just need a little bit more. So let's go to the last line. Anne cannot have cats because she's allergic to cats. That takes out this one. So Anne cannot have cats, John cannot have cats, and Lucy cannot have cats. 
which means Pete must have cats. And when we look at the question, whose pet is the cat, from the table we can learn that Pete is the owner of the cat, and that's your answer. Let's recap. First, make a table. Second, use the table to organize the facts. Third, eliminate the choices. And last, solve the problem. Thank you.